sometimes it's nice to put several different drawing pages contents on a single page for printing or getting a general overview of some Visio diagrams you've been working on. Similar to the proof sheet you get when you have your photos developed or printed out, you get the, the overview sheet that shows thumbnails of all the different photos that you have in your package. So let me sh share a few tips with you on how you might do that and some of the gotchas involved. So let's go to open a new drawing. We'll go to sample drawings and open our favorite IT asset management drawing. And we'll sh hide the external data. That's not really important here. Let's turn off the ruler while we're at it, just so it's nice and clean. Now this drawing has three pages. It's got the network diagram and two equipment rack di diagrams or details. And let's say we wanted to put all three of these on a, a single page. One of the main problems you get is, well, let's start by creating a blank drawing. Let's go to view and we can arrange also, we can see both the new drawing and the IT asset management drawing. Something a lot of people do is they just select all the shapes on a page, maybe they copy them, they come over to the new drawing, they go to paste, let's just no, ignore this, it's just a warning about data, and they say, well, I want this to fit on one page, so I'm just going to make it nice and small. So they resize the, uh, sorry, we've got auto size on here. Let's turn that off because we want one piece of paper. So we've resized this drawing and you can see it's just a jumbled mess. And that's partly because the data graphics that are attached to each server sheet didn't resize. The text didn't get any smaller. It's just a big mess. So that's not going to work. Just copy, paste, and resize. But what you can do is <clears throat> you can copy and you can come over to the new drawing and you can say let's paste special and instead of as Visio drawing data paste it as a picture which is an enhanced meta file which kind of dumbs down the Visio features in the graphic but preserves the vectors and colors and things like that. So now this is just a single shape. You can see I can't sub-select inside it. It's just one big shape and I can quickly resize it like this. So this is basically a picture of our Visio drawing that we copied over here and we're free to resize this and do whatever we want. This gets even more interesting if you had different themes. Let's say, let's go to the design tab. Let's add a background to this page, something like this. Let's choose a crazy color scheme like that. Make sure we didn't apply it to all, all pages in the, in the document. Okay, so we've got the first page has this theme applied and the second page and third page don't have it. If we're copying details over, if we cop copied native Visio information over to this new page, this new page can only support one theme. If we had three different themes, there's no way it would be able to handle that. So that's another reason why we want to paste as meta files, which are sort of inaccessible Visio objects. They're not Visio anymore, they're just dumb graphics, so to speak. So how would we create our proof sheet? First, we come over to the first page and don't select any shapes, just say copy. Now with no shapes selected, we'll actually copy the background as well. And so we can come over here and say paste special, just right clicking. And we'll say picture like that. Let's go to the next page, copy. And similarly, back in this drawing, let me zoom out again. Paste special picture. Go to the third page, copy, paste special, and picture. So now we've got all three pages pasted here as dumb graphics. I can select them all and resize them. And the reason I want to do that is because they're they're maintaining their relative size when I resize all of them together. So let's make them a little bit smaller. Let's view fit to page. Where is that? I always use control plus shift plus W, but we can do this too. Page width, whole page. There's a zoom. And you can see that we've got three different pages right, like that. We can arrange them any way we want on this page. You can even rotate these things just to show off. If you don't believe that this is Visio data, let's zoom in. 
can see it's nice nice vector renditions these aren't bitmaps they don't get jaggy as we zoom in and zoom out and you can see here's page two and down here's page three and a nice thing about metafiles is you can still add an outline to them if you want so I'll do that and redo that here so these guys didn't have any border or any background so you can still set a line and a fill color for their background which is nice when you're trying to distinguish separate pages so we'll rotate him back like that put him up over there and we've created a quick little proof sheet that we can print out in no time now that's not very much work for anything less than five or six pages it's not too bad and it's a lot easier than trying to do it any other way. So there you have it, creating a proof sheet with Visio 2010.